Now, when you think of build videos on 2K24, you're probably thinking Kyrie, Luka, Curry, SGA, and like all the big six foot two plus players. But I ain't gonna lie, I got something special for y'all boys. Now, listen, hear me out. I made an Isaiah Thomas build, and it's not even that bad. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yes, he's 5'9 like Isaiah Thomas, but listen to me. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. It's kind of fun, bro. Now we're gonna get straight into how to build the build. You see the stats right there, 5'9, 161, is 6'4. You could make him 164 like Isaiah Thomas, but I just went 161 because I don't know, it, it really don't matter. It's not that big of a difference. Now for the finishing, it's kind of simple, man. Isaiah Thomas didn't really do nothing crazy. So you're gonna go to 64 close shot and 88 driving layup. Now my boy Isaiah Thomas used to finish around the rim real good for a 6'9 player, especially scoring amongst the trees, but like, 88 driving layup, I feel like it's perfect for him. You get a really good floater in Trey Young while also being able to finish around the rim really good with Acrobat, Teardropper, Pro Touch, Scooper, all those badges. Like, it's finishing is really good on this game. As y'all can see, like, I'm going up with confidence. I'm not scared to go up over people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some of these buckets kind of tough. Now moving into shooting. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. The shooting on this build is really good. Gets an 80 mid range, which Isaiah Thomas was better at mid range than three pointer. But to make a really good build in here, like I feel like having a 92 three pointer makes this build really good. Plus a 91 free throw, because you never want to be a liability on a guard build shooting a free throws. You want to knock them down consistent. Now, like I was saying, the shooting is really good. Now Isaiah Thomas did do a lot of his damage in the mid range area, but he was really an above average three point shooter. Like that's why he was able to stay in the league for so long. You can't be five nine and not be a knockdown shooter. And now look, a lot of my highlights got heat checked, but how you think I got heat checked? I'm creating every shot I throw up. You can see the shot percentages, but I'm not gonna lie. This build is really fun. Cause like it, it's super fast. So it's easy to get your shot up and get your shot open. Like you see, I'm cooking up a lot. Like it can really not guard me. Plus I'm able to play make easy. So it makes getting my shot way easier, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Now let's move to playmaking where this build actually shines. Why wouldn't you make your Isaiah Thomas build? Scrap that. Even just a 5'9 build, an elite playmaker. So that's what we did. We went 91 pass accuracy, 95 ball handling, 90 speed with ball. Now you probably could change this around to get other stats, but from my playstyle and my liking, I feel like I actually get the best animations for a 5'9 build. The playmaker on this build is really good. Like you can get almost any pass off that you want as long as you know how to read the passing lanes. Like if it's someone with a low steal trying to play a lane, they're not getting it. And like you connect to almost all your alley oops and flashy passes, like it's really fun to play on, and it makes it really easy to run with randoms because you know they want you to throw those stupid passes that you know aren't open, but when you're playing with a high pass like you see they are open. You throw steamers all across the court, no matter if it's a full court pass or like right next to you, it's a steamer every time. And the ball handling, oh my god, if you know how to dribble, you can cook up people. You see, I'm throwing flashy passes with icons. You know you can do that. And last but not least, the defense and the physicals. These are the stats that I went with, 87 speed, 80 acceleration, 99 stamina, and um, 82 perimeter defense. The rest of the defensive stats, you don't really have to waste it because it really don't make a difference. You do get an 82 perimeter defense, which does give you silver challenger, which is a really good defensive badge and really underrated on this game. But that's all I got for y'all boys today, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like, subscribe. I'm being honest with y'all boys. I like making builds that are really unorthodox like that. I just like playing on and having fun that replicate NBA players, which if y'all boys know 2K doesn't do a good job of replicating like NBA players and making every build usable. And Isaiah Thomas, I'm going to be honest with y'all boys, is also one of them. Like the meta on this game is 6'6 builds and Isaiah Thomas just didn't happen to be 6'6. But hey, man, if y'all want to see actual gameplay of me playing in a wreck, like full gameplay make sure i get this video to 10 likes man i just wanted to drop the build video because I, I ain't gonna lie it just was funny I, I wanted to make one and i made one bro and i'm actually having a lot of fun like if you look up in the stats i'm not playing trash and now here and there i go against a dude that's really good which i didn't have my defense upgraded so he would just torch me but now i have my 82 perimeter so nobody's just really shooting over my head no more so i'm chilling for real Ooh, make sure your boys like this guy we out man lay up boys you better watch your niece. I need Roma Doja Fever.